A few days ago, I noticed this rust spot on the cast iron top of my table saw. This is a reflection. This is the rust spot. I need to clean the tabletop, remove the rust, and rewax the table, so I thought I'd shoot a video. I realize most newbies don't have table saws with cast iron tops, so this isn't really a newbie video per se, but like I said, if I have to do the work, I might as well make a video, right? So stick around and I'll show you what I did. I've already removed my blade guard and cleaned the sawdust off the table. Some people have more to clean up than others. Then I spray WD-40 all over the top. Well, not the wooden extension wing, but all the cast iron. A lot of manufacturers recommend WD-40 for cleaning cast iron, and I'm using this non-aerosol spray can. Then I let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes, or longer if I've got a real problem area. I actually ended up letting it sit for about 30 minutes, because I got caught up trying to beat Nightmare King Grimm. Maybe one of these days. Anyway, now I'm ready to scrub the top. I'm using Scotch-Brite 7448 pads. These are gray pads, not the green ones you use in the kitchen. They're the same grit as superfine steel wool, which I could also use, but I can use a block of wood with the Scotch-Brite pads to act like a sanding block. I've reused this pad a few times, and it's still fine. Don't use anything with more grit than this, or you could damage your tabletop. I scrub front to back to front, not in a circle or side to side. I don't press down too hard, but I do press down some, if that makes sense. But when I move the pad over, I don't press down at all. In fact, I usually pick up the pad to move it over. Front to back to front only. I don't focus on just one area, or I'll end up with an inconsistent shiny spot. I remove the insert plate so I don't scrub off the paint. When I start seeing a nice dark slurry on the top, I know it's time to stop. You can always do it again if it turns out you didn't get everything clean the first time. Then I use Scotch shop towels to clean up the mess. These are thicker than normal paper towels, and they feel kind of like cloth. I think this package cost me six or seven dollars at Home Depot. Even after wiping everything off, I'm still left with a greasy residue. Normally I'd use denatured alcohol to remove the residue, but I don't have any, and for some reason I can't find any in any stores near me, so I'm using lacquer thinner. But I have to be careful to use it only on the cast iron, because lacquer thinner will remove paint. Don't ask me how I know. And whatever you do, don't use anything water-based or it'll just rust. No Windex, no Formula 409, no goof-off, nothing like that. Don't even sweat on the tabletop if you can help it. I did use Formula 409 to clean the residue off the insert plate, though, and that's fine. I managed to get rid of the rust, thankfully. If I hadn't, I would have resprayed with WD-40 and rescrubbed the top. Before I apply the wax, I remove the masking from the wooden extension wing and replace it with a clean, dry piece of masking tape. I'm using an old cotton t-shirt to apply Johnson's Paste Wax. Just glob it on and smear it all over the tabletop. Doesn't really matter what motion you use, just get the top covered in wax. A lot of people like T9 or Glide Coat, but I like Johnson's Paste Wax. Again, make sure that whatever you use, it isn't water-based. I also wax the front tube. I let it sit for 15 minutes or so until it gets cloudy looking. Then I use a clean cotton rag to wipe off as much of the wax as I can. The wax kind of grabs the rag at first, but if you don't press too hard at the start, it comes off eventually. After that, I put a clean polishing pad on my WEN buffer. This buffer is about $20 on Amazon, and it's just barely tolerable. I wouldn't buy it again. I can't even really press down on it or it'll stop spinning. So I just glide it over the top. I'm not going for perfection here, just polishing it up some. You could also polish it by hand. The power button on this piece of crap is starting to have problems, so I'll probably end up buying something new. After that, I apply another coat of wax, let it sit for 15 minutes, remove the excess, and polish it again. Depending on where you live and how much moisture you get, you may want to add even more coats. And that's all there is to it. Well, how's that for a nice short video? You might even say it was polished. I mean, I didn't wax on and on about this or that, so no ragging on me in the comments. I'm hoping to get off scot-free. Got any more puns? Leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks!